video I'm going to show you how to find a file on your computer after you've downloaded it. And I'll be using Internet Explorer and Windows XP to demonstrate this. The first step in the download process involves clicking a link from an online location to download a file. In Internet Explorer, when you click a link to download, a window pops up asking you whether you want to open or save the file. In most cases, you'll want to save the file. If you, want to, if you want to be able to find your file after you've downloaded it, this is a very important step because it shows you the name of the file you are downloading. And Until you develop a system for downloading your files, be sure to write down the name of the file as a failsafe. What I mean by that is right here where my pointer is, it says name, and then right here it lists the name of the file that I want to download. So after I click Save, I have to pick the location on my computer where I want the, the file to be downloaded. I can use the drop down uh, menu, the drop down box here by clicking on the arrow and then I can save this anywhere I want on my computer. Many people select the desktop as a default location but if you're downloading files from the internet uh, often you'll most likely want to organize your downloads into folders instead of cluttering your desktop. After you've picked your folder, all you have to do is click on it to pick it. And after you've picked a folder, be sure to write down the name of the folder as well. This is where the download will be uh, when the process is complete. So I'm actually going to select this folder. And um, another thing I want to point out before I click the Save button is down here that I've highlighted, um, this is the name of the file also you can cut and paste that into an open document instead of writing it down as well. So uh, what I would normally do here is click Save, but in the interest of time for this demonstration, I've uh, already downloaded the file to the folder that's up here, and so uh, I will just cancel out of this, but you would click Save. Now once the download is complete, how do you find it? Locate the Start button in the lower left-hand part of your computer screen. Unless you've modified the setting in Windows, this is the default location of the Start button. So what you want to do is you want to right-click on the Start button to open Windows Explorer and uh, click on Explore. This allows you to navigate to your folder that you've downloaded the file to. So these are just a bunch of quick steps I'll make to get to the download where I've downloaded it to. And here's the name of the file that I've downloaded. It's that simple. Now, if you happen to forget the folder you used to save your download to, all you have to do is come back to the Start menu and this time click Search. And this gives you uh, the opportunity to, to uh, enter your file name right here. Or if you don't know the whole file name, maybe you know the designer or whoever created the file, that you know some keywords in it, you can put them in the next box. And down here with this drop down menu, you can select where to look for the file if you happen to remember. There's some other options here. When was it modified? What size is it? And some more adva advanced options that will help you search for the file. So once you put in these parameters, all you have to do is click the search button down here and it will begin the process for you. Another way um, you can search for files that you've downloaded to your computer is um, finding out what your default settings are in Internet Explorer. If you recently downloaded the file and haven't changed where you download files to, go back to any download link and click on it. And notate what happens here. This is again the name, this is the name of the file, but what you want to do is go to the save process. If, now again, if you haven't downloaded in recent times, this is the last place you save to. And it's very likely that this is where your missing file will be. Again, this depends on if you've downloaded anything since downloading the file you're looking for. Well, this concludes today's video demonstration. For more free videos like this one, visit the Help Center at ScrapWow or search for us on YouTube.